Hi guys, this is Cindy here. I want to remind you to subscribe to my channel, C Sharp 61 Programmer on YouTube, because um, that's where I'm going to be putting my new work. I'm probably not going to use Udemy anymore because I'm just too stressed out over um, over what's gone on. Even if they get the comments off or whatever, it's just been too much to deal with. Um, anyway, so we're going to move on. Uh, with our lesson that we had yesterday. If you recall, we worked a little bit on strings, and I just got through commenting this out because I'd already started this video once. And we're probably not going to use the null int. We might use it later for something else, and we might use it, I just don't know. We're kind of just writing this uh, program as we go. Um, and so let's go ahead first. You know, this does not look real good. Um, so let's um, add a table layout panel. You know, all the time I was in school, we never did any kind of decorating or table layout panels or anything like that. So let's do that, okay? Just to pull up your toolbox, type table, and we can get one. And when you get inside this guy, um, you're going to um, design it. Let's edit rows and columns. For this one, we only want one column because I want it um, in rows. So I'm going to delete that out. And for rows, uh, let's add a few more. Um, I don't know what we're going to do with them, but we'll just say they're all 50% and then they will adjust themselves. And we might have to add more later. Probably not. This is going to be a small program. Okay, so let's make it a little bigger. And let's move that down and that down just for now. So we're going to make this bigger so that we can deal with it. And then another thing you can do, um, instead of having like uh, two columns and a whole bunch of rows, you would add another table layout panel inside here. Like for instance, um, this name, enter three names, and this we would want it side by side. So I'm not sure exactly which column, which row we're going to use, but let's do another table layout panel and put it inside here. And so when we get inside here, we can remove the last row if we want, or we could have gone to designer. And um, let's go ahead and you can set your margins, like if you don't want a whole lot of space in between or something, you can set your margins from three, they default to three, or zero. A lot of times I use zero because there's just a lot of stuff on the page and I need to be able to squeeze it in. Uh, but in this case, we're going to have plenty of space, so three is fine. But let's change the docking. Um, you know, most of the times it's automatically anchored at top left everything comes up. But we're going to just dock it. And that means we're going to fill it. Well, you can dock several ways, but we're going to fill. We're going to take this middle one right here so it just fills the whole screen. And then we can move this here and this here. And then we're going to have an OK button. And like I said, we might change these. And another thing we can do to spruce this up, I like a lot of colors. Um, where I work, uh, I do a lot of blue. But we don't have to do blue, but blue is a good color. So let's say the control. Um, colors I like, I like Dodger blue, and I like um, sky blue, and deep sky blue. Let's see. I like those kind of colors. They kind of, let's say light sky blue. That'll be, that's a good color. And so we've got this here. Now we can fill this. Let's go ahead and fill it. Let's take the docking. We find it. And we're going to fill it. And um, we can make this smaller. And the thing about the docking and fill, that way it moves with it. Like if you just have it in here and you haven't actually docked it, Let's say, let's say, let's undock it. Let's undock it. Let's say docking equals none. So when we do that, and so we need it to be able to stretch with it. So we're going to turn that back to fill. OK. 
cursor. Oh, I had the wrong thing. Sorry about that. So we're going to change it back to fill. Okay, and another thing I like, we need these bigger. Let's change the font. Let's like all three of them. Let's make the font bigger. We just, I clicked it and then I did a shift click and I'm going to do another shift click. And let's change the font. Let's change it bold. And um, let's change it bigger. And you know something that we didn't do? I forgot we had an invisible label over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this back to not build. None. And we're going to hunt for that dude. We're going to hunt for a label. Let's uh, remember it was label one or something. It's not that. It was another label. It was an arrow label. Output label. Okay, let's move this somewhere. Let's uh, give it some text so we don't lose it again. Okay, and we're just going to throw it anywhere. There's good. And then we'll put this back over here and fill it again. Okay, and we need to make this font bigger too. What's this font? Uh, 1425 bold see if that's the same okay so and we can change the docking on this too um, change the docking typically we will want to change the docking on everything so and it depends on what it is sometimes you can um, do them all at once and sometimes you can't. We want the docking towards the right side. And let's change the text to line. Oh, before we get done, let's change this docking too. This one might be okay without docking, but it's just a good practice to always dock. Um, these, we're going to fill these for the whole amount. We're going to fix those. They're going to be the same docking and we're going to say fill. And on um, this text line, we're going to make him center. On this output, let's fix the text align. See right now it says top left. We want sort of center middle. That's what I want anyway. Uh, the button's okay. This text line over here, we kind of want it in the middle too. It says top left. We're going to say... Um, top a uh, middle right and this one dock it doesn't have a text align but let's check the docking okay um it's okay in fact what we could do to make these a little bit better add some more rows so let's go back up here to the table and edit rows and columns and um you know we can add some more rows in the bottom of it if we yawn or in the middle Let's say you kind of have to count sometimes. So let's go ahead and add a couple in the middle. Add, add, well, add them to the end. We want to insert in the middle. Insert, insert, and just so that they're the same, all the same size, I'm going to go ahead and say 14, 29 for this one, even though it's not. And then it will resize them all. 14. Nice. Okay, so now we've got a few columns that we can work with. And then this one doesn't look so bad. And then let's uh, go ahead and run it again. And so when we make this bigger or smaller or whatever, it's going to move with it. So that's nice. Okay. So believe it or not, some people do that. Some people will just try to break your work. Um, so what else are we going to do in this one? We've got the table layout panel and we've got colors and we've done docking and we've done output. I think the next lesson we will start working on the inside of it and uh, don't forget to subscribe and have all your friends subscribe because I need um, a thousand subscribers. Okay, and I'm going to put all my new work here. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use Udemy anymore because it's just too stressful. I can't like 
uh, people putting hateful things about me. Uh, and so YouTube's just going to work better. And so y'all have a great day. Bye.